uh, on behalf of our uh, SSN College of Engineering, an IAC cell, I invite Mr. David Kanna for this webinar on exploring and establishing a career in the semiconductor domain. I welcome uh, David. Uh, he has 30 years of experience in semiconductor and semiconductor industry. And he has worked in companies like National Semiconductors, Texas Instruments, Alliance Semiconductors, Wipro Technologies, and ARM Embedded Technologies. He has spent about 12 years in ARM as a director of engineering, starting silicon design from the scratch. He also authored and co-authored few IEEE papers. He also chaired worldwide steering committee and many te technical conference. His domain of interest and expertise are VLSI testing, design for testability, analog and RF, DFT and automation. And currently he is the CEO and founder of a startup in semiconductor and embedded services. With all these things, he was my guru in few subjects when we were studied together in uh, GCT Coimbatore a long time back. I'm very happy to see him after 30 years, I am uh, seeing him. Welcome, David. Thank you. Thank you, Jawa, for your <laughs> kind words. I was not a guru. Uh, <laughs> for me, you are I, a guru. Okay, fine. <laughs> I think that will uh, set a different expectation. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. I will, uh, yeah. thank you. Uh, so I, I hand over to Mr. David. Uh, let him continue. Continue, yeah, David. Sir. So thank you very much, Javar, for the nice introduction. And at the outset, I would like to uh, thank him for inviting me for this uh, uh, talk on uh, exploring uh, your career in semiconductor uh, domain. Yes, as he mentioned, yeah, our relationship uh, goes back uh, all the way to our college days in the hostel. So I know Javar uh, for so many years. So I'm happy to reconnect with him in, in this capacity as a professor in SSN College of Engineering. And I would like to share my thoughts on this subject. I'm sure uh, that's going to be useful uh, to you students, budding engineers. We don't know, one of you in the attendance uh, could be um, you know, a CEO or CTO in uh, some other company, maybe in the next five years, 10 years, we don't know. So I would like to share my thoughts on this uh, uh, topic, exploring and establishing your career in semiconductor domain. So when you talk about career, uh, uh, this is a textbook uh, explanation of a career. Uh, you know, there are five stages of career exploration, establishment, then mid-career, late career, and then you decline. That's uh, when you retire. So we are focusing on the first uh, two stages of the career, exploration and establishment. And uh, the rest of the stages, I think you would learn as you uh, progress in your career later in the years. So exploration, what do you mean by exploration of the career? So before you know, starting any employment uh, in any company or doing something on your own, before starting that, uh, you may be about to finish your college degree. And then uh, you're looking at various opportunities, uh, which uh, uh, you know, job is going to give you the maximum remuneration or which job is going to satisfy your uh, you know technical passion and you may have your own ambitions uh, so this stage basically shapes the direction of your professional ambitions so you have options a b c d e and so on and so forth and they uh, you slowly begin to eliminate many options and focus on few professions that interest you so that is what uh, basically meant by exploration and establishment is uh, once uh, you narrow down on few options and then 
you apply for that uh, particular uh, position and you get the job and then you join that industry or the company and uh, you are trying to establish yourself learning uh, what is the flow in that uh, uh, you know company and uh, trying to develop your skills and trying to know about your boss in the company the culture in the company so those are all part of establishment uh, the process of uh, establishing your uh, position in that uh, you know um, industry See, sometimes you may also experience uncertainty and anxiety when you enter into an industry because uh, academy or college life and industry are totally different so you may have some expectations about uh, uh, dream job right I, this is what i'm going to join microsoft i'm going to join intel so on and so forth and you have your own idea what is that job is going to be but you are going to see quite the opposite as you land land up in that uh, industry so you may face some uncertainty and anxiety but that's a reality of life so this is about exploration and establishment uh, uh, career and that holds good for any type of uh, you know career and today we are going to focus only on semiconductor uh, uh, domain because uh, you guys are um, electronics students so one of the uh, uh, career uh, that you could uh, look at it is semiconductor domain so that's a vast uh, domain when you talk about semiconductor it's very quite vast so we are going to focus on chip design and chip verification okay so this itself a huge topic i'll just i'm going to you know show you the tip of the ice, iceberg so to speak so that uh, uh, later on you can look at these things in deep so what is the motivation uh, you know for us to look at chip design okay and today if you look at any uh, chip uh, say uh, all of us uh, most of us use uh, smartphones aren't we so if you look at uh, any decent uh, smartphone the chip inside the smartphone that's what is uh, uh presented in this slide you see uh, many cores or cpus you know in that uh, chip set and then you see mix signal uh, uh, blocks and then you see uh, rf blocks analog bo blocks and digital uh, blocks so this is what people call it a system on a chip some 20 years 30 years back this entire chip could have been a multiple pcbs sitting in a uh, you know uh, system but today everything has been miniaturized uh, and that's what uh, the miracle of technology and everything is shrunk and you are seeing everything in a piece of a chip so that is the motivation for us how on earth do we design such a thing so if you are you see a uh, core i7 extreme edition and just let's focus on the uh, right hand top that uh, table uh, this uh, chip was introduced sometime in may 2016 the technology was used 40 nanometer finfet technology you see the memory blocks uh, different levels of cache l1 and l2 and how many cores do you see in this uh, 10 crores and uh, when you talk about multi threading 20 threads are running at the same time. The speed, it's between 3 to 3.5 gigahertz. And if you look at the die size, 246 millimeter, square millimeter. And how many transistors you have? About 3.2 billion transistors. So the question comes to mind, how somebody is going to uh, uh, design a, such a gigantic chip, mammoth uh, chip, so to speak, what kind of flows people use so if you have to be part of uh, the team designing such a chip what kind of skill set that i should be having so i'm sure this question you would be pondering in your mind right right, right now just focus on this talk then you would find answers to those questions okay so 
now we are coming to the uh, the main uh, uh, topic for discussion the design and manufacturing process of a chip or an ic so you have a, a requirement for a system in this case the example that we have discussed uh, in a mobile chip and then uh, it goes through uh, once you have